at 530, one of the oldest youth programs in the city is in danger of extinction. The Police Athletic League, also known as the PAL Club, is nearly broke. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt spent the day looking into the program and the problem and joins us live with efforts to keep the club going. Jack. Well, Todd, the PAL Club is celebrating its 75th uh, birthday, but at no time in its long history has the PAL Club itself been in more need of help. Through its long history, the Police Athletic League has mentored nearly 40,000 at-risk youth. It's always emphasized sports programs like baseball, football, basketball, and boxing. But it's also had an emphasis on gun safety and strong anti-drug and anti-gang messages. But the PAL Club no longer has the funds to serve youth and get its message out. At this point in time, the budget's not what we would like for it to be. I don't think there's much left in the in the fund. Uh, I think we're accustomed like 65, 70,000. A year, where where I mean we probably don't have more than five thousand. Man, there's a lot of kids in there, you know, that that need them. That's disappointing news for parents like Vidal Cordona, whose eight-year-old son Iran was diagnosed with autism at two years old. Today he participates in the PAL club boxing program at the Krista Moore House. And now he's more energetic, wants to do this, you know. He, hey, Poppy, going to train today, Poppy? What's up? We go boxing? Look, Poppy, look, Poppy. You know, and and, and before he just. He was always to himself. Now he's more active and, and all that. The PAL Club gives the city's youth a positive relationship with a police officer. The opportunity for youth to see that police are approachable and human too. And it matters not that our city's youth lack income or social status. We can't arrest our way out of this. While we do need to man these, uh, these beats, uh, community policing beats, uh, while we do need to do that, we need to balance that with a healthy uh, uh, um, allotment of officers to address uh, some of the um, uh, social issues that we're, that we're with, that we've got. Now, the, PAL, now uh, the usual duties of serving and protecting the PAL Club is one of the most positive activities that the Metro Police Department engages in, and the mayor and the chief of police vow not to let the program fade away. Reporting live, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.